will still say, this was their finest hour. How's your ammo? Good. Stop y'all. Did you? Hi, it's Andrew from C1D Paintball, and this video is the second from our first time out at ASA Paintball. The first video was the first game of this back-to-back -back plant the bomb scenario taken on June 20th, 2020. And in this video, we transition immediately after that game and head to the other side of the field to defend in the exact same scenario. No, no, I, I honestly, I didn't know it was the two colors. Oh, you shot I shot the guy. I ran till two, I apologized after. It's a hell of a shot, I'll insist. The spawn point we're starting at is in this building, not far from the bomb plant objective we are defending, while the attackers start in this two-level complex here. If you didn't watch the first video, please do, but note the attackers must plant the bomb and then stop the defenders from touching it for 15 seconds in order to win. Now in the first game, Connor and I stayed on the spawn point the entire game to act as an overwatch, so we didn't know much about the map. Although from our advantage point on the second floor of the game, we did see a lot of activity in particular in this area by aggressive defenders who kept our attacking forces out and the ability to move up and gave those defenders a good flank on the area approaching the bomb objective. From spawn I go to our main big building, but unlike the big building on the other side of the last game where we started, I don't feel I can contribute here, especially from the main ground level, so I basically leave right away. me into the forest area. Instead of us both committing to a spot right away like we did in the last game, we decided to check out this area behind the objective and see our options. We go to check out this van, which has a decent LOS on this length of the objective, stretching all the way to the enemy spawn choke point. But that's it, it covers only one side. Staying here would be camping out defensively, and considering last game we stayed put basically in one spot, I want to be a little bit more mobile. I mean, we already have this guy defending here as well. I decide, well, all we have to do is wait for the attackers, who are the ones pressed to gain ground. I'll still be aggressive on defense. This means leaving Connor behind, who will go lone wolf like me. I'm gonna go up here. No. Behind it. Oh, 
This point where I am now is the core of the map, where we can stop an enemy advance where they can anchor cover fire for a plant. This teammate has a great LOS on enemy advance on the right towards the objective. You probably remember the other teammate I showed you who's actually covering the other side of that lane. Now after I take some more shots into the choke point, I begin to think and then decide with at least these guys protecting this side, I need to cover the left flank, remembering how busy that area was in the first game. That's the edge of the big building where we were defending last round, and a place where the enemy has a good view of the field. And directly behind me is our own big building. But unlike the first minutes of the last game, there is no long exchange of fire between these two dominating locations. I know that bridge is the edge of the map. Ref explained prior to the game there was a gully there along that boundary. I figure I can wait here and cut off any enemy trying to get around this way, especially now that I have that boundary in my range. So I do spot an enemy, and after first going to shoot at them, I go under cover too quickly. Now I know my side's main building is just behind me, so I point their location I saw the enemy at, hoping somebody sees this gesture, and then can know the opponent's there. Now I spot another enemy and he's riding right at the gully. I start shooting a volley of shots at them. At the same time I actually tweak my knee a bit. You'll see me for a second stretch out the leg before going back and firing into the gully. You'll also see a second enemy join the first as I run a steady stream of shots but can't get them with my TMC. Here's that second player charging in slow motion. You might see how his teammate managed to fire a couple of shots at me, but they go to my right as I put a whole lot of shots in that direction, but don't seem to hit anything. Now this is a big disappointing part of the video. My camera by default sets clips to a maximum size of 30 minutes, a feature which I thought I'd turned off so I could record as long as I could. Because we played the first game and went right to the second, I hadn't stopped recording the previous clip and restarted a new one. This means after 30 minutes, the clip ends, and after 3 or 4 seconds, it automatically starts a new one. So normally when this feature is on, I miss literally only 3 or 4 seconds, but in this case, it was really bad timing. Because what happened on the field just after this frozen screenshot, you see up on the screen, is that I wanted to move to the next section of the fence here. But as I got up to run the short distance, an enemy, probably had heard me from all the activity going here, shoots me from this direction. I'm not actually sure it was from the ground level of the tower, but no question, I am hit and I am out. I actually took three or four shots to my right side near the shoulder and had some pretty good bruising the next day there. I wouldn't you know it, all this happening as things were getting interesting. So when this clip starts, you'll simply hear me call out and the game is over for me. So not a long clip, and in normal circumstances, I may not have been so aggressive on a map I didn't know too much about, but it was thrilling nonetheless. It's these types of firefights in the end that really give me a rush when playing paintball. In the end, we actually lost this game as three experienced players on the other team ran up from this side of the field, and when the ref called 30 seconds left, planted the bomb, and then shot suppressing fire anywhere near the objective for a good 15 seconds, stopping any hope of defusing the bomb for our defenders, and thus winning the game. I certainly remember that strategy the next time I play on this map and game type. That's it for this video. If you liked it and would love if you could find time to subscribe. Until next time, keep being positive to those new players because you'll help grow the sport and the community.
Game over.